Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create barcodes and how to create QR codes with the printer. And it's extraordinarily easy with this laser engraver. So let me go ahead and start a new one. As before we'll just select new to clear all that old stuff out. Now with your barcode we'll go ahead and select barcode and it populates a random barcode here. For the sake of the video, I'm going to stick with these digits, but it works the same way as when we created a text message. So to enter your barcode information in there, you'll simply select the keyboard button, hit the empty button to clear the old text out or the default text, and go in here to type in your string of digits. So I'll select finish here. Now um, we have several different barcode options to choose from to suit your needs. UPC codes, EAN codes. Right now we're going with this default code 128 and you'll see this is the list. Now width is also in regards here is a, um, a scale. So we're going to jump this up to 6 and 7 and take full advantage of our 2 inch window here. Just tweak the spacing a little bit there so that we make sure everything's within our window. Great, and that's how easy it is to create a barcode. QR code is even simpler, and so doing that, we'll simply hit QR here. I'm going to grab this guy and slide him down here underneath my barcode. And here I'm going to select empty, and I'm going to go ahead and put my company's domain name in here. select finish you'll see we have it there and we're gonna go ahead and change the scale down here let's make it a little larger for us so I've done that I'm ready to print this message now so I'll go ahead and select print one thing to keep in mind when doing something like a barcode the laser intensity and speed you're using is going to be different than the laser intensity and speed you were using whenever you were printing a text message onto your wood. Um, and that's for every substrate you're using. So with something like a barcode, I don't necessarily want to penetrate deep into the substrate. I just want to get it on the surface so that the contrast is right for scan, uh, scanability. So I've lowered this from the last video. Great, and now you'll see we have a crisp, clean, scannable barcode. It's that simple. Thank you for watching.